Fibonacci's Liber Abbasi Revisited, 1202-2021. Patterns in Nature. Why do we recognize patterns? Maybe it's because we are part of the same pattern and we see things that are familiar to us. The pattern and the equation that describes it is already in our mind even before we see the pattern with our eyes. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. The search for patterns. For nothing is hidden, except to be revealed. Nor has anything been secret, but that it would come to light. Different views, interpretation of the Fibonacci spiral. Physics. No accepted application. Arts. Paintings, ancient structures, music. Biology. Sunflower, pine cone, nautilus shell. The Fibonacci spiral is insignificant on its own. So why is it common in nature? Now that's a more interesting question. It cannot be denied that the Fibonacci spiral is observed in nature but for some reason, it is difficult to comprehend its importance. It's like the air that we breathe, we know it's there because it's keeping us alive, otherwise we will be in a different place, but we cannot see or touch it. We use patterns to describe nature and if we look hard enough, we can even create a mathematical equation for the pattern. This does not mean that the pattern follows the equation. It's the other way around, the equation follows the pattern. The equations we use to describe the patterns are mental constructs, it's all in our mind. We create these mental constructs to make sense of what we see. Nature can work fine without the equations. As our understanding grows, so is the need to come up with new and more powerful equations to describe the universe, from Newtonian mechanics to general relativity. Let's say there are five cats and two dogs. The cats and dogs are real but the numbers five and two are not. It is only a numbering system that was invented to give meaning to what we see. A child can look at the cats and dogs but without the concept of numbers, he will not be able to describe them as five cats and two dogs or perform arithmetic operation. While mathematics is a powerful tool to describe the physical world, it should not be the starting point for any physical observation. Note that mathematics belongs to the realm of the abstract and not exactly physical reality. Nature and the Fibonacci Spiral The Fibonacci Spiral is insignificant on its own. Taking an image of the spiral and try to fit it in the physical world is a futile exercise. The Fibonacci Spiral is only part of a physical equation and not the physical equation itself. Same as, pi, is not the equation for a volume of a sphere but part of the equation. To give a physical meaning to this spiral, the first step is to find an equation that describes a physical phenomenon which includes this spiral, and then use the spiral to describe other phenomenon. Now comes the tricky part. How can this physical equation be derived? Well, it should not be derived using, axioms. Another way is to use a proven scientific method and that is to guess it. Compute the consequences of the guess. Compare with observations. First test of the Fibonacci spiral. Planetary rotation. Gravitational angular velocity, GAV. The gravitational angular velocity, GAV, is an intrinsic property of a planet or a very massive object where the influence of gravity is noticeable. Not to be confused with artificial rotation, like spinning a ball or any type of rotation not related to gravity. The GAV equation can describe the equatorial rotation velocity of planets as a function of mass and density. One parameter of the GAV equation is, rot, which is derived from a rotating Fibonacci spiral. Planet data. The above table shows the planet data of all the planets in the solar system the calculated GAV, and the measured rotation velocity of planets. The last column is the percent error of the calculation. Principle of least energy, minimum energy configuration. X-axis equals road, Y-axis equals mass, planet, mass, Earth. The dots, M1 to M9, are planets in the solar system, and the dot on the top right is an exoplanet, Beta Pictoris b. 
Rotating Fibonacci spiral in polar coordinates. The red spiral is rotated until it intersects a planet or group of planets shown with different colors. Note the angle of the red line to the horizontal line is very close to the value of the golden angle. Mass and density of combined systems. Earth-Moon system. These objects are interlocked and with a large moon-planet ratio. Instead of describing the rotation of Earth or Moon separately, it is more meaningful to describe it as a whole, the Earth-Moon system, and derive the angular velocity of Earth from this point of view. Combining the mass and taking the average density, the road, for Earth, M5, will move to the left, on the M8 spiral, pluto charon system. These objects are also interlocked and with a large moon-planet ratio. Instead of describing the rotation of Pluto or Charon separately, it is more meaningful to describe it as a whole, the Pluto-Charon system, and derive the angular velocity of Pluto from this point of view. Combining the mass and taking the average density, the road, for Pluto, M1, will move to the P1 spiral. The graph is a rotating Fibonacci spiral superimposed on a semi-logarithmic plot. 3D view. Exoplanet. Wikipedia. Beta Pictoris B is an exoplanet orbiting the young debris disk A type main sequence star Beta Pictoris located approximately 63 light years, 19.4 parsecs, or nearly 5.986214 times 10 to the 14 kilometers, away from Earth in the constellation of Pictor. Calculated GAV equals 22,534 meters per second, based on calculated density of 5,142 kilograms per cubic meter. Calculated rotation period equals 8.084 hours. Rotation period, Wikipedia, equals 8.1 hours. Second test of the Fibonacci spiral, planetary evolution and optimal arrangement. E.g., Sunflower seed pattern, phyllotaxis, nautilus shell, galaxies, etc. Notice the color group and compare it to the actual planet arrangement. M5 is moved to the closest color group M8, and M1 is moved to P1 based on the combined systems. Also, the center is located in the asteroid belt, or a planet, Titius Bodla, between Mars and Jupiter. Third test of the Fibonacci spiral, planet type. Trace the spirals in a counterclockwise direction. If the direction is up, it is a Jovian, gas planet. If the direction is close to horizontal, it is a Jovian, ice planet. If the direction is down, it is a terrestrial planet. Fourth test of the Fibonacci spiral, hypothetical planet. Pluto doesn't have a companion planet. If such a planet exists, it will be further from the Sun. The planet type, terrestrial, Jovian, will depend on the planet location on the brown spiral, third test. This hypothetical planet will have a mass about 10 times the mass of Earth. Trace the brown spiral, 90 degrees in a clockwise direction starting from M1, P1. From the third test, the planet will be a terrestrial type. Trace the brown spiral, 180 degrees in a clockwise direction starting from M1, P1. From the third test, the planet will be a Jovian type. NASA Science. Caltech researchers have found mathematical evidence suggesting there may be a planet X, deep in the solar system. This hypothetical Neptune-sized planet orbits our Sun in a highly elongated orbit far beyond Pluto. The object, which the researchers have nicknamed, Planet 9, could have a mass about 10 times that of Earth and orbit about 20 times farther from the Sun on average than Neptune. It may take between 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to make one full orbit around the Sun. The Fibonacci spiral can describe planetary rotation, optimal planetary arrangement, planet type, and hypothetical planet. There is no need to search for patterns in nature. Find the truth in the equation and the pattern will eventually reveal itself.